got out of the taxi here, which cost us 20 ringgits from the bus terminal. We're just speculating how much time we're actually going to have because this is just the day trip. We're going to want to return again towards the evening. The first thing we see here at the entrance when we step out of the taxi is the Church of St. Francis Xavier or Xavier, which is built in 1849. This little tour is going to be quicker than usual today as we want to catch as many sites as we can on video. The town seems to be more Arabic. I can see the street signs are written in Arabic also. But a lot of high rises and I saw a lot of uh, international chain hotels on the way in. Nice colorful red buildings. All the same color. The street we just got dropped off on seems to be the main road into the town. Yalan Laksaman. Laksamana. It was our idea to uh, get off here because I saw the main entrance sites. We just crossed the road from over there by the church. We were standing there on the corner. This is apparently where the sort of official part of the town starts. Now you can read Melaka, which is a world heritage site. Maro just moved further down to have a look at these ruins. There's some signs down there telling what it is. According to the signs, these ruins are the Fort of Malacca, Bastion Victoria. There's a 3D model of what it would have looked like. Well, I reckon if Maro agrees with me that we go down to the right of the sign there on the building, where the river starts. Here we are at the riverside, it already looks beautiful here. Let's go over and have a look. like a nice cafe just over the river there. These buildings are really old. Just up here to my left are some public toilets. But they're not difficult to find either. Straight ahead one of the river cruises heading this way. Looks like there are plenty of little restaurants and cafes beautifully decorated all along the riverside. This definitely seems to be worthwhile. Yes. Lovely little town. It is. Nice bridge crossing the river straight ahead. I have a feeling that the other side of the river is the nicest side to look at. It's also where the restaurants and shops probably are located in these old buildings. Are you Hard Rock Cafe fans? There's even a Hard Rock Cafe there. Up towards the road again. Then we have the signs. And the one says Stadthuis, City House I would presume that means. If my Afrikaans and Dutch are similar as they normally are. It's a lovely town. A local post box. Must be one of the old ones from the old days. Nice and cool here under the shade of the trees. Some very colorful walls over there. It's a pity they didn't close this main road here and make it a walking street because it sort of takes away the atmosphere of the lovely buildings straight ahead. Nice little place to have some watermelon drinks. I was dying to have a ride on those. Not really my thing. But I'm sure we'll end up doing it. She's a little lady. <laughs> so which one are we going to ride? All those colors. That's the uh, call to prayer you can hear in the background. Very colorful area as I've said before. Very beautiful. Sounds like an ice cream truck there. So there we go. Behind Maro and I now is the I Love Melaka sign. Melaka. Melaka. I've pronounced it many ways in this video. But there it is there. And as we're standing here all the time, 
they come into to offer a bicycle ride here and there. And personally, that puts me off when they don't take no for an answer, so I'll definitely not be riding their bicycles in this town. But they look very nice. They want about 50 ringgits for a ride. One hour. One hour, he says. A tour group passing me here. There go the bicycle tour. Bicycles all seem to play music, which is not really a whole thing either. But it's quite unique to this place. So while I was giving my opinion, only my opinion, about those bicycles, I forgot to mention that I'd much rather do the river cruise. I think that's more fun and you see more of the yeah. beautiful area here. Maybe we should head for the river cruise now so yeah, we can this, have it done. So we have a little bit of bearings also, what's where. Yeah. So we'll cross the road here and go over to the river and follow the river until we get to the river cruise starting point. It's almost a little bit cooler here next to the water. Certainly a very busy town. A lot of tour groups here. I'm now standing on the bridge over the river and just ahead of me we find Yonker Street. And the hashtag I at Yonker Walk. Nice little Chinese cafe, curry chicken breads. Maro and I are going inside to taste a bowl of this Nyonya Gindol. Zendol. We've been here over two weeks and we haven't tried it yet. So we ordered it to eat here and it's called Nungya Sendo, 100% pure Gula Melaka, been serving at small price, 490. So it's uh, Sendo being made. A lot of ice in first. Scoop around the sides. Now for the goodies. What is that? Tendo. Tendo, okay. The beans. The coconut milk. A lot of ingredients in this. Coconut sugar. Yes. Coconut sugar. Okay, coconut sugar. <laughs> Ready. Good. Thank you very much. Maro is just photographing our first demo. Demo. Going for a closer look also. And this is supposed to be very refreshing on a hot day, and I can tell you today is an extremely hot day here in Malacca. Okay, so Maro is going to be having the first bite for the first time ever. Very unique taste for us. Right? I don't think I've ever had anything like this before in my life. Is it sweet because or is it plant? Usually when we have red beans like this, it's like a chili con carne or something. Yes. Not exactly dessert. dessert. Not, not a dessert. 50-50 or what? This is one of the desserts that comes highly recommended when you visit Kuala Lumpur. Well, it doesn't go to my top five list, but it's nice here. Okay. I think I better have a try now too. See here the a lot of milk in there. I think that was a coconut milk. And th this was apparently sen the sendal. Sendal. I'm going to take a bean. I'm going to get everything on that spoon. Put my glasses away. Let's have a look. Mm. It's not bad. I can say it almost tastes like mushy cornflakes in milk with a lot of sugar on it. 
That's a palm sugar, isn't it? It's palm sugar. Very refreshing. Mm. I think I'm going to finish. So, from 1 to 10? Oh, On a hot day like this, and considering it's full of ice, I'll give it a 7. What about you? Uh, 7 and 7 plus. 7 plus? What the hell is 7 plus? I don't know. <laughs> You're hovering over that ball. What are these green things? I think that's a symbol. What's that? I don't know. Sendal ball finished. Enjoy it. And now we've tasted it. And we're back outside in the lovely warm summer weather. Very worthwhile place to visit. It's one of these decorated bicycles coming again. Seems to be a very Chinese street, Yonka Street. Plenty of lovely, cozy places to sit down and have a rest while you enjoy this beautiful town. Just down Yonka Street. Don't forget to visit this Chinese temple. At least look at it from the outside. The further is we can come in. These antique shops actually feel authentic. There we have what looks like a mosque. It also look Christian somehow. That is a mosque, I can see that now. You can see it's for visitors. They do have a dress code, but then I can see that they have uh, robes in the background to borrow. Look how deep the drains are here on these streets. Don't want to fall in there. As much as one would love to see everything, it's very clear that we don't have enough time in the few hours we're here for our day trip. It's all about the old buildings here in Melaka. Another temple. And this looks like a very cozy little hotel. Here on the corner there's a little kiosk. It looks like you can actually rent bicycles here too. And another authentic looking Chinese antique shop. Look at the greenery on this building. Inside this little gallery. It's time for that part of the video where the two of us show our faces again. We don't show them very much in our videos as we would rather focus on the sights and you'll probably rather see the sights and you'll see us. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. But that's actually the point. I just wanted to say how hot it is here. It's really hot. I think it's hotter than it was. Well, it, it is very hot. Well, too, there's so many... The wind doesn't get through here as easily. Uh, nice colourful art on the walls. Down that alley where Maro just went in there. Straight ahead. Very colorful wall indeed. One way down the river. Behind me is the bridge. That's sort of the main area. And it just came from that area in there. We're not going to have time for it, but those of you who want a view of Amalaka, is a sign or a revolving tower just up there. You can see it there. I'll zoom on it in a second. There you have it. Revolving tower. 
good place to get a view of Melaka. Interesting to see here about the bridge. There's a main bridge and then there's a bridge for pipes and what seems to be electric cables also here next to it. There's a river cruise ticket office. I somehow don't believe that it's the legit one. Maybe I'm mistaken. I think it's further down the river. You can see the boat right on the end moored. Here we have the big tourist information office. We're going to take this route next to the river. And that looks like the fort. Straight ahead. Up we go to the fort. There's an old building there, that white building in the background also. So this is the wall that apparently has a history of different countries building in layer by layer. Different countries who are occupied the area. Here we have a Dutch layer and over on the left we had a Portuguese wall. A lot of cannons in there I can see. It's quite a hefty wall. Nice view from up here. And just below my feet are some even older ruins. Probably also from the fort. Here we are in the fort area. Those are rather big cannons. You feel the heat. Gonna make our way down right down to the bottom. I can see the mast of the wooden ship. There's a hotel also. It's a little map of what the area looks like. Thunder's coming up. Oh yes. That way. It's quite a building there called the Casa del Rio has to be a hotel look what lies ahead of us much bigger than I thought it was going to be how much are the toilets yeah how much how much are the toilets 50 cents 50 cents per person yeah okay that's pretty pricey so here we are right next to the ship and it's 50 ringgit cents per lavatory use. It's a very big ship. Just next to the ship you have the museum, Royal Malaysian Customs Department. It's a market hall with a food court straight ahead. And then over here on my right is the ship. We're running out of time here before we have to catch our bus back to Kuala Lumpur. It only costs five ringgits to get onto the ship, but I think we're going to give it a miss so that we have time to walk through the rest of the town. Next stop, the Melaka River Cruise, 50 meters to the right. Straight ahead to the departure area for the River Cruise. And there's the ticket office for the River Cruise. Just behind the ship, actually. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. We want to see the church up on the hill. There's a special church up there. Do you remember what it's called? St. Paul's Church. St. Paul's Church, That's exactly. Yeah. And we want to do that because we've walked along the river. It would be nice to cruise it. It's a 40 minute cruise, but that'll have to wait to another time, another trip to, to Malacca. And city bicycle rentals there. Some more ruins here in front of this house, very old house. The lovely banyan tree, and the roots all the way around the tree. There's an old vintage car there under that little roof. On closer inspection, it's a uh, 
actually a fire engine, a very old fire engine. And this little vehicle here, they call Oliver the bulldozer. Oh, that's Oliver and the fire engine. And the building that houses the fire engine and the bulldozer is the Stadthuis, the city hall. And this is it. Here's another look inside the city hall building. And that way up there goes to more museums up there on the top of the hill. Look at St. Paul, St. Paul Hill, Famosa, Malacca Sultanate Palace. That's a nice view from up here too. Nice and cool also, yes. And I can see the walls of the church. And there we have it, the old church. And if you need a refreshment, there are refreshments for sale. Just in front of the entrance. Look at the lovely view from up here. the area we just came up, up these stairs here. It's a lovely building. A very old gravestone from 1650. Very old indeed. Just the walls left. That red arch there is obviously very modern. Couldn't place to support the the walls, otherwise they would probably collapse, they're so old. I wonder if these are the original wooden door frames. Well, this back end of the church still appears to have a ceiling and roof. Under the cage there is some kind of dungeon full of donations. More shops outside this door. Next to the beautiful old wall. Looks like quite a lot going on down there in the town too. Just outside the church here you have the Governor's Museum. And now it's time to start to make our way down towards downtown. There's another museum, architectural museum. We just got a taxi in the middle of the road. It'll take us to the bus terminal. It costs 15 ringgits. The bus terminal, the Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. made it to the central bus terminal. We hope you enjoyed walking through Melaka with us today. We really enjoyed the visit. It was worthwhile. And if you like the video, please leave us a like down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so. So from Maxi, see you next time. Bye bye.